At 400 pounds, how can you be this fit? It's an anomaly. Twenty-eight meters by Van Staden to beat, but that is not a good start by the Englishman, Colin. He has uh, some trouble with his grip there. He's just rechalked, and time is slipping away now for Ed Hall. Ten well, he goes again. That's a little bit better. He's starting to warm into this now, but it's a bit late. The clock is ticking down, and that is it for Ed Hall. So not an auspicious start. And that was a tremendous performance by Mike Burke. But Jenkins is away and running. This is superb, Colin. Just phenomenal. He's going to be at the turn at around 12 or 13 seconds. He's ahead of Burke. A solid lift there. Just wearing flimsy shoes, but everything's working well at the moment. The referee Bill Linden can hardly keep up with him. That is a winning performance by Mike Jenkins, 29.35. Absolutely superb. Well, it's all about getting out as many reps as possible before the fatigue kicks in. They have to lock out at the top. The referees are watching for that. The elbow's straight. Well, this weighing nearly 350 pounds. It's a phenomenal weight to lift overhead. Just losing it a little bit there, but he's in the lead already. Frankie Skeen, 13 reps, but that is a tremendous performance by Eddie Hall. He's not finished yet. Number 18, oh no. Nevertheless, that was a huge crowd pleaser from Ed Hall of England. Well, just a few weeks ago at the Arnold Classic, he managed to beat Zadruna Saviskas in a shoulder pressing competition. Nobody does that. And that shows you how talented Jenkins is, especially at this. Ed Hall watches on. 17 reps to beat, and Jenkins equals it. And there is the extra one for the victory. A tremendous victory by Jenkins. He does it again. Uh, I wouldn't say it was easy. I might have had a couple more in the tank, but 18's all took for first, so, you know, save my energy for later. Now, what can Ed Hall produce here? It's got to be something big. And look at Jenkins. Wow. He's flying. He just looks as though he's carrying a small paperweight. Just unbelievable. Halfway in 12 seconds. 30 seconds is the time to beat. And Ed Hall, well, he's going backwards now. Well, that's one way of doing it. We haven't seen that before, but meanwhile, Mike Jenkins completes this course. 23.13. Absolutely outstanding. Well, it looks like two different events, doesn't it? It looks so easy for Jenkins. Ed Hall looking a little more human. He's not going to finish, is he? Just 36.75 metres. But what a performance by Mike Jenkins of the USA. A chance here for Ed Hall of England to show just how strong he is in front of this packed audience. And by the looks of it, he's a good deadlifter. Just very good at everything static. 350 kilos is a huge weight for one rep. He's got plenty of time left to beat the total. Set a few moments ago, five reps altogether. This would equal it. And he's got it. Holds his breath, up he goes. Solid rep, gets his hips through, he's into the lead. Still time for one more. This is good. Now come on, Stoke on Trent's finest. It's almost like going for gold here. Eight reps. This is getting better and better. It's harder and harder, but eight reps is a good total. It's a little bit higher off the ground than a regular Olympic weightlifting bar would be, and there's a bit of problem there with balance. Well, he's not the world's best deadlifter, that's for sure. Ed Hall's on eight. That'll be one figure he'll try and tie. 
if he gets there. I think Nick Best is clearing away in first place. That balance problem continues for Jenkins. And time is running out. He's had enough. Mike Jenkins satisfied with eight repetitions. Well, Burke just getting away marginally the quicker of the two. And Eddie Hall there struggling with that first one. That could be a problem we've seen. He's not a great mover in previous contests. Here goes Burke with the last yellow one, almost slips. That could have been his chance of competing in World's Strongest Man. Gone, but he carries on. And Eddie Hall is really struggling now. Burke just taking his time. It's all come down to this last lift. This blue barrel could decide who goes through to the World's Strongest Man contest. Well, how do you grip it? The long arms of Burke have allowed him to get a better grip. Eddie Hall trying to bear hug it. Ten seconds to go. The final barrel's up, and that's the end of Eddie Hall's chances of getting on the podium. Nick Best has fought well here, but Mike Jenkins has definitely been the class act. Jenkins has been phenomenal, especially at this kind of event, any kind of moving event. He's enormous, but he really can shift. No doubt about the fact that Mike Jenkins is going to win the overall title here in Melbourne. And he's looking very relaxed about it. Nick Best, I think, acknowledging the fact that this guy nearest the camera is the strongest on the day. It's not huge in terms of weight, but it's just the awkwardness of it. And look at that, Jenkins completes the course, 65 seconds, that is truly phenomenal. Mike Jenkins, possibly a contender for the world's strongest man later this year. I think you can win world's strongest man, do you think you can win world's strongest man? You have to think you can, if you can't, you already lost. <laughs>